And these fucking juices get any better. I mean, what the... Guys. Seven Star. This is not a review about Seven Star. Okay? But, you know, I had these bottles behind me for a while now. You know, I had some new juices come in. You know, the one that i just been going fucking nuts over. And then I got the lemon twist. And then I just had some rotation. And I kind of had put these, you know, back there. And I just left them there. So it's been about four or five weeks or so like that. And today I, I was looking at my, you know, my little velocity deck. And I, I was like, let me see how the glass cap looks on the box. You know, I was like, ah, oh, pretty cool, you know. Had some new coils in there, whipped it up. And I'm like, and then I look, I was like, ah, these nuts. So I was like, just drizzle it on there, and holy fucking shit, I mean, just, this is insane. The longer these steep, the flavor is just getting better and better and better. But anyways, I just had to say that. It's fucking unbelievable. But anyways, today what we're going to be reviewing is this little guy right here. This little guy sitting on top of my Segeli 66, okay? This is the Merlin, Merlin RTA. I've been enjoying the shit out of this. I really, really been enjoying the shit out of this, okay? Now this is, they have, I think I have, you know, anyway. I know I have also another Merlin in there, but this particular one over here, I love the way the, the, the deck is on this one. So this is made by Org Vape, okay? So it's called the Merlin RTA, all right? We're going to take a look at this little guy inside, and I'm going to show you why this is becoming one of my favorite uh, RTAs. And it's, if you restrict it and you can build this properly, it's almost like a mouth to lung. Alright? So it's like, uh, I don't want to say, you know, if you could just restrict the air, you know, it's, it's you know, mouth to lungs are really super restricted. So this could be almost kind of considered the a MTDA, a mount to direct lung. I mean, if you tone, you know, if you uh, hone the uh, air uh, airflow down to the bare minimum, and you got the correct bill in there, and I also put this nice little longy on there, and there's a nice 510, you know, a little matchy-matchy going on. I mean, I've been getting some sick flavor, and I'm going to show you why once we bring this guy right here on the table. And why I'm enjoying this a lot. I, I really dig this design. Okay, so let's bring this guy on the table and I'm going to show you. Okay, guys, so here it is. So <clears throat> it says Merlin RTA on one side. It's got the Aug Vape right there. Merlin RTA, Aug Vape on here. And this is like really super small for me to read so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this right there I believe it's a 23 millimeter diameter 4 mil capacity single coil okay and there's all your information your little scratch and check right there but anyway let's get to it this is this is this has been around this is nothing new but uh I just found this a little fascinating because this little guy kicks ass okay so without any further ado you know you get this uh baggie this a uh, couple of grub screws in there a bunch of o-rings and then you're going to get this little guy right over here as you can see this is going to be your little uh airflow reducer so just you know so you screw it in the middle of the deck right over here all right and you'll just screw it in and that would just reduce your airflow so if you want to kind of use this as a mud to lung you would reduce this down and also you'd have uh, airflow right over here that you can adjust on the fly and of course you know this is your typical like what happens on one side happens on the other but here's the interesting part with this this is a velocity style deck but it's set all the way to the side it's not in the middle so the coil is going to hover in the middle where the airflow comes directly from the bottom. So I just want you to take a look at that right there. So basically that's what's going on. And of course your wicks are going to go right into the little channel wells. 
and that's where your juice ports are going to come in from your RTA tank. And on the bottom it just says Aug Vape and Roxy. Okay, Merlin RTA by Aug Vape and Roxy and then a little serial number there. Beautiful copper pen, nice peak insulator. It is protruding, not much, but this is an RTA, not meant for mech mods. Okay, this needs to be really regulated and these things cannot, you know, go on high wattage. I mean, 40 if you really want to like push it and have the correct build on there. So without any further ado, here, this is the build that I had on and I took the coil off for, for the video purposes, but it is a Clapton. It's a five wrap, okay? And the fascinating part, it's a three and a, a, three and a half uh, millimeter in the diameter. So we're gonna, we're gonna just do a really quick just wicking, okay? So I'm gonna throw this coil back inside. I'm gonna place it nice and even right there. All right, let's go right there. Get one side, screw the other side, make it nice and tight, nice and tight. Now these have already been burned. So basically here's what you're going to end up with. You see that it's hovering right over the hole, right over the air hole, which is right there. Okay, so I'm sure that you can see it right through, right there. And that is a beautiful little setup right there. Okay. Nice space, see? Nice wide coil right there. There's your juice wells. Okay. So let's just throw a quick wick in here. All right, we're going to put it back there. Now this does come with your regular glass, and it comes with this nice smoked out glass. Okay, so for just for the video, I'm going to use the, the clear one because I want to show you how the airflow works. When this chimney is over here, this is the same thing. You, you have the ability to shut the, the uh, juice flow, not the airflow, but the juice flow off by just twisting it. Okay, and then I would cut the juice off on both sides. And then you would twist it and you would open up and the juice would flow in. Here's a, your bell housing. Okay, this is, this is engraved inside nice and etched right in there all right and then here's going to be your top flow where you, it would screw off and then you would have your kidney shapes okay piece of cotton really really quick okay nice this is so easy to throw with this three and a half millimeter coil right over here just put it right through okay all right and I'm going to show you a little trick on how I wick this. All right. So I am going to take this, all right, right down to that line right there. You see where the, between the black and the silver, I go like that, cut, go like that, cut. All right. All right. So now you're going to end up with this, but this is way too much cotton to put in that port. So cotton, and you want to kind of just give it a little pinch till you get something like that. You see, like a little feather and then take that right on like almost like a nice angle and cut that off. Do the same thing right over here. You're going to want to fluff this thing out and then just cut that right on an angle. You see what I'm doing right here? Right there. Okay. Now. You just take the bottom part, the little pointy part that's on the bottom, and that's going to go right in your, in your juice port, in your juice well, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Again, just take the pointy part on the bottom. All right. So now, now you're going to end up with a shape like this, where it's going to be like kind of pointy and pointing down. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take that bottom pointy part and you're going to shove it right inside the well, right there, just like that. 
Okay. Alright. And you fill that part in. Make sure that's all filled. Do the same for the other side. Just take it apart. Right inside. See? Right inside. Okay. Put that on. And now you are done. In the top part where it come off, you just want to fluff that up like that. Nothing crazy. Just fluff that up. Okay. And so, and if you have some extra stray hairs, just right there, give them a little, a little hair trim, and you're gonna end up with something like that. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to juice this thing up, bring it right back up. This is going to be a quickie, and I'll give you my thoughts. So I'm just going to put this guy together like that. All right, well, first I'm going to, um, I'm hey, going to juice guys, those what's cords. going on? So we're back on top. Anyway, so that was the Merlin RTA. Man, I just love the way they put that uh, velocity deck up to the side, and the coil just hovers right over the center where the airflow is coming right directly from the bottom. I thought that was a pretty cool... You know, idea, I, and I don't know why, I, I haven't seen anything else like that. I mean, there was a couple, like, uh, GTA styles that were like that, and, uh, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> man, it fucking works, and it works well. And you saw me, that was a beefy coil, that was, that was a five-wrap Clapton coil. Actually, that was that Demon coil, so, I'll tell you right now, it's a 24 uh inner gate uh 24 inside and a 30 gauge on the outside so that's that's you know it's pretty beefy coil you've seen it you know uh it's uh giving me a point uh five three ohm build i have it on a 34 watts i'm just gonna pick it up right now we're gonna do 45 watts right now so let's just see how this thing works 45 watts i do have let's see jc custard from Seven Star Juices in there. It is smooth as hell. And man, this fucking custard tastes really good. Really, really nice. I mean, it's a smooth hit. I mean, you could use that reducer if you want, and you could also just, you know, tame down the airflow on here. It'll probably feel like a really restricted RTA, well, you know, kind of close to a month long, you know. But I just wanted to show you also, really quick, I don't know if you're going to catch this on camera, but there is the, the juice flow. So all you got to do is just see, you close that, put the silver part, and now it's closed. So your juice now is not entering inside the, the chamber. And that would be open see that would be closed and that would be open so if you had to do something or fill it you can just fill it up and then release the air and allow the juice to flow through so pretty cool little features that they, they've been kind of doing that on a few rtas you know i know the obs does that i know that the uh, amit does that so it's it's a pretty cool little thing you know I don't know if they're going to continue doing it, if they found it that it's useful or not, but whatever the case is, it's been working. I mean, of course, just give them perfect flavor. And I like the way, if you can learn how to wick it like that, you have just the bottom portion of the wicks going into the into the ports, right into the channel. The top is still fluffing and sucking up all the juice, and it's just filling up with juice, and if you can... You know, you got a nice amount of fucking wick in there. You can have a lot of juice and avoid that burning. And I always space my coils. That's another thing, spacing your coils. Your your heat is not condensed where all the wraps are so tightly close together. And that heat is condensed in there. And, and, and if you guys, I'm sure this has happened to you where the cotton just burns in the middle and just the two outsides just pull out. And that's what happens. But by spacing those coils, you allow the juice to come in between each one of those wraps and that kind of keeps it cool and hopefully moist uh, uh and you know it keeps it cool and wet so that's the whole deal about space and of course and that's why you find that you get a little bit more flavor yes you get more clouds and concentrate but you're also going to go through cotton like crazy
Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm the Vaping Rhino. Please consider uh, subscribing to my channels. If you're liking the videos, leave a comment below. Leave me a like. I'll catch you on my next review.